Okay. We are live. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. From New York and from Michigan. Michigan. How's everyone doing? Cruelty and viciousness of this crime until we I can't put them on all right, so I'm gonna get on my app. I want to see what what's your app look like for your your comment picker, madam. My comment picker? Not your comment picker. Your your wheel you use your. Right. Here it just says decision roulette. Decision roulette. Okay, I'm gonna look it up. I'll show you what mine looks like. Mine looks like it's that one. Right there. Oh, okay. Decisions. And, and it then when you go into it, it looks like this. Oh, how cool. And then you hit it. And then um, I have, well, I looked at the makeup one. That's stupid. Um, because you don't have some of the makeups, like if you don't have them, it's stupid. But you can make yeah. your own. And then I made my, where is it? My pick my palette. You have, yeah. You have to hit new. And then you go in and type in every single thing. Okay. And then that becomes your, um, your, your, palette. your yeah, the spinny thing. So, okay, let's see. I have one I can use. It's a hard candy glitter, but I'm gonna have to get something else besides that. Okay, so I have a visionary. Visionary. Visionary, okay. Uh, visionary. Shit, I gotta figure out which one that is. Color pop truly madly deeply. Sweet. I think that is. Ugh. Let me grab mine. Yep, that's uh Patrick Starr actually. Okay. Cool. So I'm doing neutrals today. <laughs> Alrighty. I found mine. So this is a Truly Madly Deeply by ColourPop. I don't know if you've ever seen this one or not. It's really pretty. Okay, I didn't know you had Patrick Star. See, I went to buy that, and I've heard people say good but bad things about it. So, no, I like it. I actually won it in a giveaway. It was the very, very first giveaway I ever won off of YouTube. Okay, that blue is blue. Mm -hmm. like it's beautiful. But I don't have a problem with this palette at all. That's one thing. Some people say they have problems with the palettes, but that makes me think you get a bad palette because my one Hank and Henry. Mm -hmm. I love Hank and Henry, and that palette just does not work for me. I've tried adding water, everything, but I contacted them, and hopefully I'll get a new one. Right. Next glitter. John picked this up for me. It's by Hard Candy. Remember, like, the 90s Ooh. makeup? Mm-hmm. Came nice. with a little, little stud thing. Blue cool beans. I'm excited. All right, John and Boo, I'm going to the beauty room. I will. I will. Where's my water? Yeah, I need some water. It just didn't seem right. We will not be good. We will not be good, Joyce says. Just to let you know. You didn't hear? <laughs> I love you. Good morning, Beth. How are you? Good morning, Beth. So I got we got our TV up last night on the wall. Finally, oh, yeah. yes. That's cool. I was trying to sleep while they were doing it, but nope, they had to wake me up. That uh, usually happens when you're hammering, right? Well, so. it wasn't that. It was kind of like John gets annoyed real fast when he can't figure something out, and I was like, man, I should have just done it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good, Beth. I'm glad you're doing good. 
Cool. I'm happy you're doing good as well. We picked our palettes. This is the palette that the Decision Roulette picked for me to play with today. So, And then I'll show you mine. I got ColourPop, which I'm super excited about because I love ColourPop. Love me some ColourPop. I'm on the bigger stool. <clears throat> a lot of people, I don't know if you've ever seen this one, Beth. It's truly madly deeply. It's a really beautiful palette. I love it. And then I also picked out glitters for me. And I'm a glitter whore, so. I am. I'm a glitter whore. Yeah, wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. You like it? You like it. Yeah, I was going through um, all my empties yesterday with John, and it was mm -hmm. funny because John's in the video with me, so he was calculating all this up. He's like, how much does this all cost? And we got over to $1,000 in products. Wow. Yeah, but that was for like a year's worth of stuff. But a lot of it did come from like BoxyCharm and stuff. Right. So some of it I did rebuy, but I feel like my lighting's not good enough or something. Mine might not be, but I don't care. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you very much. I got to clean my brushes. I got to paint today. I got to get in that painting mood. Yeah. Yeah, girl. Got Not my painting. Mm -hmm. You should paint with me sometime, or color, or do some kind of artsy thing together. Great coloring. Way better at that than I am at painting. That's for sure. Coloring. <laughs> yeah. Like I colored here. I get it for you. Everybody that sees this is like, oh wow, who painted that or who colored that? And I'm like, I am. And they're like, it is so good. We said. Yeah. In my, uh, I used to have it in my living room, but now that I live in my bedroom, I brought it. But oh, that's beautiful, Joy. I'm real, I use crayons, colored pencils, markers, gel pens. It just depends on what I'm doing. I take my time. I I love to color. Like. Yeah, that's awesome. So do I. You know, <clears throat> when I was in the hospital, that's what really got me back into coloring because there's nothing else to do. And they wouldn't let me right. do anything. So they wouldn't let me have my cell phone for a minute. And then it got locked out. Somebody locked it out on me. I had to actually take it to the Apple store. I was so mad. Oh, people, I tell you. I've been pissed. Oh, I was mad. I was quite upset. Quite upset. He's not too happy. So let's see here. Let's get some eye primer on. And then I'll do my eyebrows. I gotta get some more eye primer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I like this pretty vulgar, but I just prefer my NARS. Yeah, I have to say I like the um, Shop Miss A brand the best so far. Do you? I, I, have to, I have to make an order from there. Make me make sure next month I make an order from there. <laughs> Sell the one that has no memory. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. That's memory either, girl. My memory shot. I'll try to remember. No guarantees, though. All right, girl. So I tell everybody. I'm going to put my primer on. Yeah, I need to make an order from there for sure. I like shop and say, I always end up with tons of stuff in my cart and I'll go back to it and it's like all gone. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah. That's horrible. 
Their jewelry and stuff sells very fast, I notice. Yeah, it does. And it's um I've worn three of their necklaces and only one of them um gave me the ring around the neck. Oh really? I the one that Diane gave me is really nice. I I haven't gotten it wet or anything, so it hasn't got like no irritation or ring around the neck. And I know that's from Shop Miss USA. I cannot believe how well my eyebrows are filling in. Yeah. You got to try that. Do that castor oil thing. I call it canola oil in my video. What an idiot. <laughs> it's okay. I am like, oops. Laugh out loud. Oh, well. No biggie. Well, I do that. That's how I am. No biggie. It happens, right? Right. Oh. I think I'm going to do a real neutral, neutral look today, maybe. All browns and a little bit of black, possibly. That'd be nice. Yeah, how dark these browns are. I hope I one of my subscription box comes. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I contacted Ipsy, and they're uh -huh. like, oh, you just changed your address. I said, the, I said, I just sent you a picture of my bag from last month. I did not just change my address. And they were like, oh, we're so sorry. We're sending you a bag out, but it's going to take about two weeks to get to you. Great. Because of COVID. So I'm like, mm-hmm. You might be gone next month, Ipsy. No. I don't know. I want to get the Ipsy Ox just because that palette's going to be in it. I know it. Well, from my understanding, it don't matter if you get the Glam Bag or the Plus. You can get the ipsy x and i've really really been considering canceling the plus and getting the um just the glam bag because i'm always happy with everything that i see in the glam bag when everybody unboxes them but the little glam bags you're talking about yeah the 12 dollar yeah. ones yeah yeah i think, too. I think like, I'm, too. right so i'm really really thinking about getting rid of the plus and just fucking going to the glam bag and calling it good you know, if they keep it up, I might do the same thing or just get rid of them. I don't know. They need to fix their mistakes. Don't blame it on somebody else, too. Like, you have a computer system and you're trying to lie. Wait. Right. Mm -hmm. Nice try. I have a photograph and I have the actual package still. Yeah, it makes it hard to uh, be able to lie when you have the fucking proof. Right. Because I'm not one of those people. I don't like to complain for no reason. I can't stand that. Right. She does that. She complains about everything. But if, you know, if I'm paying for something, you mess it up. Come on, make it right. That's all I ask. Right. I don't blame you. But Boxy, Boxy was okay. Um, I was shocked. I did not get the Vi I didn't get the Ace Beauty palette. And I did not get the makeup brushes. No. So I got a Wonder Beauty palette. I used it once. I was going to clean it and send it to you because I know you love Wonder Beauty. Um, I just used it to try it on. It's a great palette. It comes with blush and a highlight. I'll show it to you. Um, Shit, where is it? It might be in the bedroom. I'll look. It might be in the box. And then I got skincare. Oh, yeah? They um, didn't let you pick this month? Well, last month, I didn't pick because my payment didn't go through until the second. Because I didn't get paid until the second. Right. On that one. I, well, Ipsy, I got paid. That one got paid on the first. I just didn't have enough in my bank account to cover both. So I had to wait until I got paid. So I have to make sure from now on, which I'm going to make sure that there's always money in my bank account. It just got transferred right. over. Because they are, paid, like, when they run it through at, like, midnight or 1 o'clock in the morning, if your money is not in there, then you don't get your your choice 
It would take mine at five in the morning. Five in the morning? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what time they do it. It's just, I'm just throwing a number out. Oh. Just throwing a number out. I figure they do it different times for different people, but Boxy Charm takes my money at five in the morning. Ipsy takes mine about six thirty seven because they always email me telling me um, that my payment went through. Mm -hmm. So I go by the email when it you know it says the time or whatever. Yeah, right, right. But, but they always take Boxy Charm first. So if I wasn't to have enough money in my account, I'd at least get BoxyCharm because at the moment I could give two shits if I got Ipsy. Like this month was a better month, but but they didn't do it still fun for but there's they didn't and they're still not following my um your profile my beauty quiz. So you know, like I feel like they did at one. I almost feel like they followed my beauty quiz until they bought Boxy. Okay. I really do. And then right. once they bought Boxy, then everything fucking changed. And now it pisses me off. That sucks. Yeah. Right. I'm going to go in with Poodle. What's up, John Niffin? Hi, John Boo. Kiddos. Hey, when he calls me a kiddo. <laughs> Is he in the same room or the same house as you? Yeah, he is. Yep. <laughs> I didn't know if he left because he always likes to get on when he leaves. Yeah, no, he's in the bedroom right now. Enjoying the TV. He likes to watch TV. I'm okay with that. Oh. Hell no, no TV allowed. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, you know, he um we watch ID a lot. Oh yeah. I love that channel. So laugh out loud, what's up now? Laugh out loud, no, I'm down the street, Joy to the world. What? Joy to the world, he said. Joy, Joy to the world, world. yeah. He really thinks you should change your name to Joy to the World. Way. I am not a Joy to the World. I mean, let's be realistic about this, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> you either hate me or you love me. But the oh, whole world, I am too. You either like me or you don't. The whole world, like, they, they're, yeah, I'm not a joy to the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> well, Joy, I guess I'm getting really married in June. Oh, yeah? Oh, so I got to plan a wedding. Nice. I haven't done that in a long time. So mm -hmm. someone's got to come down from Michigan to New York. I will if you let me know ahead of time. Oh, of course. You tell me last minute. It's not I'm happening funny. now. I just it will be this June sixteenth or whatever Father's Day is. It should be June sixteenth because that's the day we met. It was on Father's Day. I'll never forget it. Oh, uh, it's a long time ago, girl. Two thousand eight. Nice. Yeah, so we're going to officially tie tie the knot. I mean, I wish common law was accepted. Right. New York State, it's all about making that money, putting it on paper. Right. Yeah, the only reason why Dave and I haven't tied tied the knot is because he'll lose his insurance. Mm. And he has to be tested like every so many months for his cancer shit. And so like right now we both get Medicaid, but if we get married, they'll take it away from both of us. Oh. And I'm, I'm okay with it. I don't really need it, you know, but the stuff that I see, I could pay cash. 
for it <laughs> because I don't go to the doctors very often, but he does. And it's just, we may never get married, married because of that, because, right. you know, he needs his insurance. Right. You know what I mean? Insurance. Mm -hmm. I can't wait until Trump comes back. <laughs> right. I don't always get acquitted, but when I do. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What it was that I seen? Not the stupid laws and rules. You got it, girl. Yeah. What do you do though? But you always could get married in secret to I you know, like well, so here's the I thing. I have been married by somebody who is an ordained um, minister or whatever they're called. Well, in all reality, we are married in the eyes of the Lord. Right. Technically. Yeah. We just never got married in the eyes of the law. So. There you go. That's a good way to put it. It's a real good way to put it. I love playing with palace. I haven't played with in so long. It's so much fun. You know what's crazy is I used to grab this palette for my neutrals palette until I got my Teddy Boy palette. Ooh. <laughs> I really love my Teddy Boy palette though. I didn't think I was going to like it. I was so bummed when I got that because they were giving away the, uh, where's it? Oh, I have it in over there. Um, mm. They were given a second palette to a Violet Voss palette that to the first one that I had. Mm -hmm. So I wanted that one. But then when I opened my boxy and seen it was the Teddy Boy, I was like, fuck. But then when I tried it, I was like, yay. <laughs> right? Don't you love that? Sometimes you're proven wrong. Yeah. I love Violet Voss. I love her palettes. I just actually added two of her palettes to my um Fat Fit Fun order for spring. I'm oh, waiting yeah. for the winter box. I need to get a hold of them. I bought another one for John because John wanted something out of it. So I was like, all right, we'll get another one. This right. time, thing, you know, I got to try this color out. He's texting me Instagram. <laughs> I'm just glad that I got a good one of these um, Patrick Star palettes. Even though I wanted in a giveaway, they're like, what, $38 or $48 for the palette itself? Yeah, that's awesome you won that in a giveaway. I didn't, like I said, I didn't even know you had that palette. Yeah, I hardly ever use it. It's, it used to be one of my favorites. Um, I won this in a giveaway, and I started, like, because it came from Canada. Mm -hmm. But I won this in a giveaway, and during the time that um, I won it, and the time I got it, like, I just started my YouTube channel, so yeah. it sounded like um, my, like, first month or maybe my second month or whatever, because it took me a minute to get it. Right. But, um... I don't know. I used to use it until I got my Teddy Boy palette. <laughs> I, can't no, like I, just, these. No, I don't use it very often, huh? Your Teddy palette? Yeah. No, no I don't use this one very often. I uh, use my Teddy Boy palette most. I was going to say, I thought you used that one. Um, I said, I can't wait to make you a set of these. I got to buy the rhinestones and buy a set of brushes. That'd be cool. These Nikita Dragon ones are good. They're purple. Do you like them like that? With the purple on the end? That's beautiful. I like I like purple. Okay. All right. You should do purple on the end and blue diamonds. You want blue diamonds? Okay. Why not? Can't give me purple on purple. That would just look stupid. Wow. Okay. I'm weird. I mean, I'd, I'd still use them if you do purple on purple. Well, these are just like regular, you know, multicolors. But oh. if you want blue, we can do blue. 
no, like, no, that's fine. Just do whatever. Don't tell me you're doing no. shit for me because then I boss people around. Because yeah, don't don't be horrible. Boring. You're just saying what you want, and that's okay. I'm okay with that. I'd rather make you what you want. No, because that's cool. Because we can find those different color rhinestones. Actually, I get them on Amazon. Look at the brushes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they still carry them. We've got a fat cat. You quit making fun of Batman. Leave him alone. Poor thing. This means he's healthy and loved. I, mean, yeah. I don't know about healthy, but it means he's loved. He's pretty damn healthy, but that, that bump scares me a little bit. It's like right where his heart would be. Okay, so I found on here on the phone some 90s trivia. And let's see if we could do it. Patrick Starr. John, Patrick Starr is um well you, is he a drag queen? Mm, kinda. Kinda. I don't know. He's he he has his own makeup line. Yeah, it's one size. Is his makeup line? I don't. Me. I've never talked. He dresses about him. like a girl and stuff, but he still has boy parts. So I'm gonna call him a drag queen. I've never thought of him as being transgender because he's know. not like. When I used to watch him all the time, he never talked about like you know taking hormones or anything like that. So I would say yeah. drag queen. Yeah, that's why I was thinking. Dark green. Let's see here. Where are the questions? Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's see if there are any good. What okay. 1990s teen movie was retitled after a Britney Spears song? Oh, was retitled? Mm -hmm. it, um, it, it's a. Uh, Drive Me Crazy. Remember that song, Drive Me Crazy by Britney Spears or no? Good morning, Lorna. Hello. No, I really wasn't much of a Britney Spears fan. Neither was I. So let's skip those questions. <clears throat> what was the infamous haircut inspired by the most TV sitcom? What was the, like the 90s hairdo that was like the trendy one for like sitcoms do you remember like the 90s sitcoms that were popular that a lot of people watched but i don't think you probably friends rachel J jennifer anderson how she had her hair cut everyone was cutting their hair like her and dying it hmm. i don't know i That's didn't watch much tv hair. i feel bad <laughs> How many Americans tuned in to watch the O.J. Simpson trial verdict? Oh, my. I actually had to watch that in high or middle school. I oh, 20 million. Um, 95 million. Wow. That's a lot of people. Wow. Good morning, Lorna. You were going to say Jennifer Anderson. Yeah. Okay, what was the federal minimum wage in 1990s? The like, four twenty-five. You got it. I used to work. I, <laughs> I was gonna say I thought it was four fifty, but no, four twenty-five. Okay, Whitney Houston has a massive hit in 1992 with a cover of whose hit? What's her most popular song? I will always love you. Do you know Is who it? originally wrote that song? No. Dolly Parton. Oh. Dolly Parton. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know this. Macaulay Culkin was paid one million dollars, the first child star to ever to do so for what film? Okay, so Macaulay Culkin's first film, he got paid a million dollars. I guess that's a lot for a child. And remember, yeah, and do you remember that was uh, where he was left home alone? 
No, no, Wasn't no. It? My Girl. Do you remember My Girl? Oh. I love those movies. No, I don't think I watched that. Oh, you have to. I even think, well, I haven't watched them in years, but I think it still would be a really good movie. No, I think Macaulay Culkin, the first one I remember him in was Home Alone. Mm hmm. I mean, yeah, but I remember the, my, my girl because I used to watch that all the time. What fashion accessory was invented by a high school teacher? Oh, th guys, think about hi, Heather. Hi, um, oh, Heather. Gosh. In the 90s, these were so popular. They're bracelets, but they remember them slap on bracelets. Oh, a high school teacher. A high school teacher invented them. Hmm. Yeah, the slap on bracelets. Ooh. Huh. I would do the Harry Potter trivia, but I don't think anybody wanted to do that. Okay. Genetic engineering introduced what color rose for the first time? So the genetics of, like, kind of like growing weed, you know, mixed in the strands and all that they finally came out with a blue rose in the 90s hmm. oh i think you'll know this one what was the first rap song to hit number one on the billboards hot 100 rap song in the 90s yeah it was considered rap in the 90s is it a white or black singer white eminem no no was it um was it uh was it uh um you know who i'm talking vanilla about vanilla ice yeah yeah vanilla ice 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 baby ice ice baby baby ice ice baby oh you yeah, guys i used to that? like vanilla ice yeah me too me too that's so funny vanilla ice isn't he like remodeling homes now or something like that? I don't know, but he's fucking ugly now. I remember. Well, actually, he's even ugly back then because I've went and looked at that video. I used to and think he was hot as hell. And Ice Ice Baby, he's not. I had no taste when I was 12. Like, <laughs> I was 12, right? You know who I used to think was cute when I was like 13? I had a crush yeah. on George Clooney. Yeah. I always like the older ones. What was the best selling video game console in 1990s? Nick, uh, uh, Nickel, no, Nintendo. No, no, no. it's the Sony PlayStation. PlayStation oh. was first introduced in the 90s. Oh, I, I wouldn't even know this one. Okay, what actor was? One of the first approach to play Buzz Lightyear on Toy Story. Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, Billy Crystal. Oh. Who the hell's that? I don't know. That's why I'm trying to think right now. What was the most watched TV episode of the 1990s? It's just one episode, I guess. Episode. It was the most watched TV series, like, forever. It was on for a long time. It had a bar scene. Cheers? Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. The final episode in 1993. Oh, the last episode? Yeah. It was the most. Oh, wow. I bet. I love Cheers. I used to watch it with my Aunt Frona all the time. Actually. Okay. What soda's working name was Mountain Dew Killer? What? I don't even get this. It's Surge. I is Surge a drink? Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm I don't remember. I think they took it off the um I think they don't sell it in Michigan anymore. They might though, and I just ain't seen it. What band is featured on Beavis's shirt? <laughs> I love Beavis and Butthead. ACDC. No, that's the other one. Metallica. Oh, oh I got them mixed up. You got them mixed up, girl. Just got them mixed up. It's all right. 
Yeah, I knew one was Metallica and one was ACDC. Oh my God. I wonder if you'll remember this because of the 90s. What two actors voiced Simba in the original animated Lion King? Do you remember that little boy that was really popular on Home Improvement, that TV show, <laughs> John, Jonathan Taylor Thomas? Do you remember him? Home Improvement? Yeah. Mm. There was that show with Tim Allen. Yeah, I remember Tim Allen. I remember that, but I don't remember his boy's name. Yeah. That's one of their names. I vaguely remember the children. It was always Tim and Al, right? Yeah, Tim and Al, and then the neighbor, Wilson. Yeah, that you'd only see his eyes. Yeah, which I thought was kind of weird. Yeah, <laughs> I thought that was kind of weird, too. I know. I was like, what? this makes no sense. That show was kind of ridiculous. Didn't Tim Allen go to jail for something? Wasn't he naughty? I don't know, honestly. Thought he was naughty. He did something bad. I used to like those Santa Claus movies he was in. I don't know. I don't think he ever went to jail. No, I think I used my finger. Damn it. I mean, but then again, he might have. I might be thinking of another actor. You know who's crazy is um Nicolas Cage. I love Nicolas Cage, though. I do, too. His movies are great. I like Denzel Washington. Oh, was he? He went to prison? What did he do? Yeah, he was in prison. Enough. I knew he did something. All right, we're going to have to Google it. I think it was DWIs. I might be wrong, though. Oh, an alcoholic. Huh. Okay, okay. Yeah. I knew it was something, girl. It was something. Huh, I didn't know. I mean, not everybody's good. No. Sometimes we all make mistakes, too. Right. Question is, as long as he learned from it, then that's good. If he didn't learn from it, then... Bad. Because after so many DWIs, they'll throw your ass in jail. Well, I think they throw you in jail. In Michigan, they throw you in jail every time you get pulled over. But after your third one, you go to prison. Right. And you lose your license for life. Yeah. I have a DWI on my record. And I'm not going to lie, but I blew a 0.8. Bullshit. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, Michigan has the zero, a no tolerance. Like you have, you can only blow zeros. If you were to blow a, a 0 0.01, your ass is going to jail. Yeah. It don't matter. Which is stupid because I was a bartender and you have to get um, certified for being a bartender. And mm -hmm. I got certified and you're allowed to legally give let somebody have three drinks an hour. But if they were to drink three drinks in that hour and leave your bar and get pulled over, they're going to fucking go to jail. So that just don't make sense. Like, don't make sense, don't make sense at all. I'm like, whatever. Yeah. That's crazy. And I'm that asshole bartender that will only let you have three drinks an hour, too. Right, because you can, you can you get in trouble somehow too? Yeah, if you serve them hey. too or something. If I give them, I don't three drinks, and they leave my bar and they get into an accident and they kill somebody, the bartender can be held as a um, an accomplice in Michigan. Yeah. Okay. I ain't trying to do any of that, so. I hear you. I think it's the same way in New York. I ain't got time. If I'm going to prison, it's because I chose to murder somebody on my own free will. Not because I gave somebody a fucking extra beer and they drive off and kill somebody. Right.
is craziness. And I personally know a bartender that went to prison. Oh, dude. Because, <clears throat> because she gave a guy a Budweiser. He came in at like 1231 in the morning, ordered a beer, took two drinks out of it, walked out of her fucking bar, um, drove three blocks, ran a red light, and killed like three people in a van. And when it was all said and done, she got, um, I think it was like seven to 12 years. I don't know if she spent the whole 12, but. What? Wow. Holy shit. <sighs> See, I just don't understand alcohol. I don't get it. You know, I mean, it's legal and everything, but. I don't well, know. as the bartender, it's your responsibility to make sure that the person that comes in your bar to drink's not already drunk. Right. And I have literally been like, open your mouth and fucking breathe on my nose to people because if I think they're drunk, they're gonna smell. They're gonna smell drunk. Like, Why? I don't care yeah. if they chew gum. I don't care if they take a mint. You're still gonna be able to smell that alcohol or beer scent. Right. Um, so I've had people do that. And I also watch people that walk in my bar. And if I don't see them walk in, I'll be like, do me a favor, walk to the door and come back. And I want to see, because when you take training, they actually have you like watch videos and stuff. Like when hey, I took my first training, hello, Tammy. And, um, it opened my eyes a little bit on like actually paying attention to them drinking and how they react and the way they talk and, you know, stuff yeah. like that. And so. Like how alcohol really affects you and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, and I don't know how many times I've refused to um, serve somebody because they came into my bar and they were already drunk. They were already slurring words or staggering. And I'm like, no, I'll give you water all night long, but <laughs> you ain't getting nothing with liquor in it. Sorry. Right. I, I don't know. I've never, I was never put in a situation like that. Thank God. Yeah. No. I don't agree that it should be in the bartender. What if they leave the bar? Exactly. What if they go and get more liquor or something on the way home, too? I agree with that. It's true. It could happen, you know? Right. I don't bartend anymore because I can't handle the drunks and I'm a very mean person. And so and every really just do they annoy you and just get on your fucking nerves? So I came by the by three months into bartending, I decided that drunks were like fucking tired four year olds. Yeah. Like at the end of the night when you're closing the bar down and you have all these drunk people in your bar and you're trying to get them to fucking leave, they become little tired four year olds and whine and fucking beg, you know, please let me stay longer and all, you know, like, you know, like a four year old is like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, type of thing. So <laughs> <laughs> I liked how you mimic that. That was good. That was really good. Heather's like, I used to. No, no, I got to the point to where I just couldn't deal with the drunks anymore. If I could get a bartending job where I could work like the days or like, you know, like three to nine or something like the mid shift, then I could probably handle it. But I can't do them fucking drunks anymore. They're annoying. And you know what? The 40 and 50 and 60 year olds are worse than the 20 and 30 year olds, too. Yeah, I did notice that in the bar scene. Because the 20, they were all chill. They were all college kids. And they were all really nice. And it was all the same crew that would come down. Or I'd have my group of winos. Um, right. Yeah, because it was right on the water front down here in Seneca Falls. So a lot of people would come on their boats and shit. It was really nice. But for some reason, that place can't stay open. Mm. I don't know why. I would love to but go there again. The 20 and 30 year olds, they were more respectful, honestly. They it's were poor better. tippers. No. No. No, the older generation tips way better. At least for me, they did. The older generation tipped way better than the younger, than the 20 and 30 year olds. But I was able to just look at them, like give them the mom look, and they'd fucking be like, 
I'm sorry. Now, the 40-year-olds and older, they want to argue with you like they're your 16-year-old fucking child. Wow. <laughs> but the they tell the boys tip better, too. Yes, they are. <laughs> I punched it. Y'all might get mad at me, but I punched a 78-year-old man in his fucking mouth and knocked him off of his bar stool because he grabbed my tit. And he grabbed my left tit as I was walking out with the drink, and his name was Dave. And I said, Dave, I said, if you ever fucking touch me like that again, I said, I'm going to punch you right here in your fucking mouth. I said, I don't care if I go to jail for beating on an old man because I feel if you're old enough to grab my tit, you're old enough to know better. And... um he just kind of giggled and, you know, like fucking 10 minutes later, I went walking out with a salad and um, he grabbed my other fucking tit and I dropped my salad and I turned around and I punched him and he fell off the fucking bar stool and he goes, damn, you hit hard. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just Does he like, want, he want to get punched by you? He must have wanted to get punched by you. I don't think he believed I was going to do it. People don't believe if I tell you I'm going to do something. I'm going to do it. Like, right. that's just how I've always been. Right. That's fuck? my ex. Fucking, I told him, I said, I swear to God, I said, if you fucking lay one more hand on me, I'm going to stab you with a fucking knife. And he smacked me across the face and I grabbed my steak knife and I put it in his fucking leg. Woo! Like, Woo I have an, I have a couple knives around the house. I carry one on me. Wait for my oh, eyes. If I say I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So, yeah, and I end up, I now, now I barred him from the shift. See, this is what I did. When I had a problem with somebody, I would bar them, but just for my shifts. I work every Monday, every other Thursday, every Friday, and every Saturday. So I was there every Monday, Friday, and Saturday, and every other Thursday. Um, so you just weren't allowed to come in on my shift. If other people wanted to deal with you on their shift, that was fine. If they wanted to bar you from the fucking whole bar, that was fine too. But if I don't like you and I don't want to deal with you, don't come on my shift. And I had a set schedule. So when I barred you, I told you, you know, the hours I work, they'll fucking come back. Right. And they never did. They never did. They always would come back on days I wasn't working. That's good. Well, we only had problems with actually <clears throat> a bartender. We caught him stealing a lot of money. He got caught stealing like a thousand dollars out of the drawer, mm -hmm. and then he was stealing bottles. Like I wasn't catching him doing that, but he's, you know, most bartenders drink on the job. I didn't. I don't like Neither. drinking when I'm working. Maybe I almost the night, it's like I'm cashing out. I might have a drink. No, I didn't even do that, but I'm not a drinker. I almost got fired from my job because, um, when they, when I started working I went in and I applied for the waitressing job, not knowing I was going to get thrown into bartending and cooking because the ad just said waitressing. And I'm like, I'm a waitress. Um, right. So anyways, fucking, they trained me how to be a bartender and I knew how to cook. You know, I got a lot of kids and I'll do all that. But anyways, my John, the manager at the time, when you make mixed drinks, you're supposed to take one of those little straws, like stick it in and bring it out and taste it to make sure it's, you know, the Straw right drink. Yeah. And I refused to do that. I said, I don't even drink. So how am I going to know if it fucking tastes right or not? Like I'm a recovering alcoholic and I'm not doing it. Right. Well, he got so pissed that I wouldn't do it. He tried having the owners um, fire me, but they were like, dude, she, she don't drink. <laughs> right. You know, yeah, right. Let's wow. see. My ex pissed me off. He was an alcoholic. He hit, hit me. I went outside, got a sledgehammer, and starting hitting his motorcycle, he came out screaming, what the fuck are you doing? You I said, it's it? Mike or you. Take your pick. <laughs> Hi, Vanessa. Uh, Hi, Vanessa. <coughs> good morning or good afternoon. Oh, my God. That was so funny. So, Beth, Beth? He literally went out there and just beat his Harley up. Hey, oh, my eyes won't stop watering. Do y'all need whoopings? Uh oh, whoopings! I heard whoopings. I have a whole bunch of presents that I wrapped up and put next to me, and the dogs have literally unwrapped every fucking one of them almost. What presents? Are you getting ready? Um, we do with my um, children downstate. We do Christmas at tax time, so. Oh. Um, so I have presents and I had them wrapped up 
And the dog, I have to rewrap all of them. And the dogs were chewing on one of the presents. Hey. Yeah, you should probably leave them. Oh, you're heading out for lunch. Have a good lunch, Vanessa. Thanks for coming by and saying hi. Oh, enjoy your lunch. Yeah, have a great lunch, girl. Oh, my eyes are watering, of course. And uh, what were you saying? Go on. You were I talking. Forgot. You're talking my dog's interrupting, wrapping, and. Oh, yeah. So they have literally chewed off almost all the wrapping paper except for like one. So I have to rewrap them all again. What like, little stinkers they are. They are. They're a little stinker. <laughs> Stop. What is that? You like my little Miss Piggy? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Everyone loves Miss Piggy. <laughs> I got yeah. married and kicked my husband's bike over. Felt so bad. Paid for the repair. Oh, not me. Bess says, screw that. You can pay for it, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh. Where is the second? Ugh. I got my water bottle. Let me see. Where is my stuff? I want to try this. I haven't used this in a minute. Oh, I found my little pad that goes with it. How cute. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, That's just my, uh, put my hair up and it's not even a bun really. I'll show you. It's like, can you guys see it? Just take my hair and I go like this. Doesn't she get like beautiful hair guys? She really does. And then I put it like that because it gets in my damn way. I think I'm, I'm going to cut it. I can't wait to see it caught because I've never seen you with, you know, your hair shorter. So it's going to be, it's, uh oh. My eye. <laughs> uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, I'm going to cut it down to about my, I think I decided about my bra strap. So I'm going to take like that much. Okay. Uh, it's going to look beautiful. I mean, it'll still be long enough for me to put in ponytails and put back. I'm just, I'm undecided about the bangs because I want to try some bangs, but then I'm like, I've had bangs like twice in my whole life. Okay. I'm going on 42. Like, do I really need bangs? <laughs> if you're going to do it, I would go with the long bangs, kind of like. Well, I have to because I, my bangs have to be long enough to go back in a ponytail or I can't have it. Right. Because when I want my hair to go back, I need it out of my face. Right. Oh, that's cool, Vanessa. I've never done extensions. I want to do wigs, but my hair is too long and thick. Like when you put it around your head to like put the thing, because I watched some videos one day and I have a cheap wig that I bought and I thought, let's try this before I buy an expensive one. My hair is just too thick and too long. So hopefully after I cut it, I'll be able to use a wig. I don't know though. You will be able to, I think. I think you will. I love that wig I bought. You should buy a matching one. Well, pay. if I can get the cheap one to work, then I will. It was $21 or $20 or something. It's a really nice wig. I just need to buy, um, they have, no, with wigs, they have special like spray conditioner for that wig. So I want to yeah. talk to my hairdresser and see, is it like normal conditioner or is it really like special wig conditioner? You know, right. going and buying all that stuff. I want hair extensions, Vanessa, so bad. There's this website. Um, what is it called? Something Beauty. They have the most beautiful extensions. And I think there it's like 60 inches or something. 
gorgeous. Yes, to the side, like how I do it, yes. Yeah. I wonder if contour really makes your nose look smaller. Do you think it does? Um, some people's yes, other people's no, actually. Um, that means so uh, I think some people know how to do it and other people don't. Okay. I'm gonna do it the way I was taught how to do it. Because I've watched people, because I tried doing like um Mm. Well, I've thought about doing certain things, I guess I should say. So I watch people do their makeup and some people I can see where they take their nose and it looks like it totally made it look smaller. And I was like, holy crap. But then there are other people I that know. I just, that are like, oh no, they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Um, let's see. This cocoa powder. And you have black hair, Beth? Oh, the longest I've had, Heather, I used to have my hair down to my ankles. Really? Yeah. And the first time I cut it, I cut it to my butt, like to the bottom of my butt. Wow. So I took from the bottom of my butt to my ankles off. And then from there, I slowly started cutting it more because it gives me really bad headaches. And I know it don't give everybody headaches because I know some people that have really, really beautifully long hair. And they're like, no, I don't have headaches. I'm like, must be nice. But yeah, I used to. I used to have really, really long hair. But the older I get, I just can't deal with the headaches. And I know it's like, I know the difference between a hair headache and a tension headache and a stress headache. And so I have a 24 hour headache that I've had for like the last six months. I should have cut my hair six months ago, but I will deal with it until I can't deal with them anymore. And I'm getting to the point where I'm just tired of it. It's tired of having the everyday headaches. Mm-hmm. I would be too. Headaches, they suck. And that's kind of like a tension headache too because it's pulling at your scalp too. Mm -hmm. Bye, Vanessa. Have a great lunch. Bye, honey. Have a good lunch. Nice to see you or talk to you. I do get migraines. I used to be a match for them. Wow, that's wonderful because I'm I get I get a shot every month I have to give myself. It's called Imgaldi. I take this one medicine and I get Botox. My migraines are that bad. Oh dang. <laughs> that shot hurts too. I don't know why all the slam is going around downstairs. I went to school with a girl who had a hair down to her. Oh, when her mom passed away, she got a pixie cut. Wow. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, it might have been a religious thing, or maybe her mom just didn't want her to do it. I know people that have done that. Heather wants to know how you brushed your hair down to your ankle. Like when you had your hair down to your ankles, how did you brush it? From the bottom up. So I would take it and I'd pull it to the side and then I'd pull it up and then I'd start from the very bottom and I'd brush that out and then I would lengthen it down. 
and brush it. And then I'd normally, after I brushed it, it went into a, um, I'd put it up in a ponytail and then I'd braid it and I'd braid it all the way down. And then it would like come up like between like my knees and my ankles. I cut off like that much of it when it was in a braid. And that's usually how I wore it. Yeah. Every day. You know, my mom always says she would, you know how you put your hair back the other day with the barrette? Mm hmm. That's how my mom will do her hair. Or she'll have it just parted down the middle. And it's like, hi. Hi. How about joy and pain? Sunshine and rain. Oh. <laughs> and pain. Sunshine. Oh, my and God. Rain. That's so funny. Honey, <laughs> could you do me a big Yeah. Thing? What do you need? More water? Okay, baby. I'll Thank get you. you. Water. How are you feeling? Okay. He's hilarious. Isn't he? He's something else. He likes you about. <laughs> well, like I said, you either like me or you don't. Right. <laughs> what else do we do? Love He's him. just lucky that we don't live next to each other. He probably wouldn't like me that much. Uh, I think he would. He'd be like, bitch, go home. <laughs> no, he won't. <laughs> mm -mm. When he would, like, with my apartment, when I had it, he would, you know, he would come stay with me. It was like he lived there, but he wasn't on the lease. And, um, you know, he'd come stay a few days or whatever. And my girlfriends always came over. <laughs> you know, oh, yeah? Yeah, my ex-girlfriends. <laughs> it says Tammy says I did pixie, but here to find out it was pregnancy hormones. What's pixie? I don't it's understand. Hairdo? Are you saying like you got all hormonal and wanted to cut your hair off? That's why I'm trying to you help me paint sometime. Paint what? The ceiling. I don't want to paint. What's the ceiling? The ceiling that Robbie did. Oh, uh, maybe. I can figure it out. You want to say hi? Sure. Mm -hmm. I'll say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, John. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do, can't do it in the mirror. I go the opposite way. Love you. All right. Love you, baby. You look beautiful. Thank you. What did you use? On my eyes? Yeah. Oh, it picks the cut. Okay. Color pop? I'm slow sometimes, Ooh. Tammy. Use truly manly, deeply colored pop. Great, right, baby, beautiful. Thank you. Always great. Always Thank great. you. Thank you, sweetheart. We see Everyone you. saying hi to you. Hi, everybody. Uh, Lorna, Heather. Hi, everybody. Tammy. Okay, bye, everybody. All right. Bye. My back. Okay, go rest your back now. <laughs> yeah. He is a sweetheart. He is. He's a sweet. Sweet person. Mm. Put too many ice cubes in it. Is that you, girl? Your computer? Oh, um, it's my phone. Oh, okay, gotcha. I don't have the notica notification silent. Are those donkey ears Joy has on? I think <laughs> I think they're mice, like a little mouse ears. That's what I think, but maybe donkey. I don't know. I I want them from um, Diana's Glam Fam in one of her lives, and um, I. Could have picked a pink one or something else, but these reminded me of little mice. Yeah, mice are cute. I like mice. Batman, I can't believe he he got that mouse. Means he's doing his job. Yeah, that's why I said everyone. I said now you can lay off of him, even though he's chubby. Leave him alone. You know. Right. I had him on diet food. I don't know what is making him gain weight. He's on healthy food. I wouldn't be worried about it unless your doctor says something. Yeah. 
I'm not. He's a happy cat, so whatever. <laughs> well, whatever you want it to be, Tammy. I don't care. I don't know. Is that too light? I used my dose of colors today to go with my um, Anastasia. Is that too light or is it supposed to be that light? For my under eyes? I think it looks nice. Okay. I think it looks really nice. I don't have my eyes whitened right now. But I do it like that too. Let me see. I'm trying to be bougie like you. I know. Okay? Bougie, please. Join Ooh. the club. Jealous. I want people to think I'm bougie too. No. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, let me set my face. It smells so good. Oh, uh, so I got Slay all day um, setting spray in my boxy charm. I was shocked. Oh, really? Yeah, that's a, that's like Rich Lux setting spray. Nice. Yeah, I was excited. How old is Bugsy? She's smart if she already knows what bougie means. <laughs> <laughs> Training her well, Tammy. Uh -huh. Hmm. I don't know what is going on with my eyes, but they don't want to stop watering. They're making me oh. mad. I hate that. Yeah, Jared. Gerard. That's what I got. Mm. Buggy's going to be two next month on, on St. Patrick's Day, right? Oh. <laughs> I forget those days. My kids ain't that little no more. I forget they copy you. <laughs> mm. I just thought you were training her the right way. Like, <laughs> oh. Nothing wrong with being bougie. Nothing wrong with that. St. Patrick's Day is her birthday. I think that's really cute. Oh, really? That's cool. I love St. Patty's Day. Yeah, so do I. Going to be the third year I haven't worked anywhere for St. Patty's Day, and it sucks because usually I deck myself all out. Mm -hmm. I look so cute. I may have to do it for YouTube. You should. I used to have all kinds of great stuff for St. Patrick's Day. I'm going to put lashes on it. Call it Two Bougie Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what we'll call our lives from now on. The two bougie girls. I just don't think I know what bougie is. Isn't that where you like have to have everything high dollar? Right. Everything okay, is yeah. high dollar. Yeah. We'll pretend I'm bougie. I am far from bougie. I like nice things, don't get me wrong, but shit. It just pisses me off when I think about that. Let's not think about the bougie. <laughs> Such a fucking instigator. I'm sorry. No, nah, it's all good. My watch is going to tell me to breathe in a second. Breathe. Hey, do I do my yeah. bronzing the right way? Do I do it the right way? Bronzing right there? Yeah. Uh -huh. Am I doing it the right way, though? Yeah, you are. I'm watching. I always feel like I do it the wrong way. I don't know why. I okay. represent broke bougie bitches. Oh, Amen, God. sister. Where's my eyelash? I'll just use two. I mean, I ain't exactly broke, but I ain't fucking like rich either. Right. That's... I used to be considered middle class, but now middle class is considered poor class, and poor is even poorer. 
So I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> oh, guess what I found? Guess what I found? And I'm so happy I found it. What'd you find? I forgot that I had it when I was cleaning. I found my Perfusions Cosmetic Blush. I fucking love this shit. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it too. I forgot that I had it. All I like right, to make, How well, I guess I use three blushes mainly, but whatever. Have a good day, Heather. Thank you for stopping by and spending some time with us. Thank you, Heather. Wow, I love these eyelashes. Yeah, I like mine. Mm -hmm. I got to get some. I was looking on um, Amazon for magnetic ones for next month. I'll find the link if you want me to, and I can send it to you. Okay, girl. The ones that I got, they were like sixteen eighty eight plus tax, and you get a ton of them, and I fucking love them. You can't go wrong. Are they all different lengths, or just all the same length? They're all, um, they're like... From they're like from neutrals to more uh dramatic. The farther oh, you like get them. down, the more the more dramatic you get. Yeah, I like those so. a lot. Those are nice. Okay. See you, girl. Sure. So I think they're good anyway. I mean, I just went on there and um I couldn't find uh Rachel's link because she has so many videos put up. So yeah, I so I just got on there and I was like, you know, um, well, let me read the reviews. <laughs> and I read, got to them, and there were so many good reviews, and I was like, I got to try it. Yeah, right. Uh, and they end up being really good. That's awesome. That's what's up. <laughs> I can't believe I almost put primer on my eyelashes. I am out of it. Yeah. What well, are you doing? Down my girl. Oh, you crack me up sometimes. Oh, I gotta crack myself up. All right. It's break time. Oh, uh, you know what's crazy? They're probably fighting over a fucking potato. All them dogs love raw potatoes. Really? Oh. Yeah. I broke in when we left one day to go do some shopping. We came back and our bag of potatoes had got broken into. And I'd never had to worry about that with any mother animals. I never heard of dogs liking that. That's interesting. It's really mm -hmm. interesting. That's cool though. Yeah, I'm just like, okay, weirdos, eat the damn potatoes. So they got that bag of potatoes, and we bought another one. <laughs> oh, somebody went live right now, too. Oh, yeah? Sunny just went live, too. So just got home. Uh -huh. yeah. I mean, I don't know how, if we even have people that are like, I don't know. Maybe. I ain't worried about it. I can't. No, I just noticed that. I was just saying somebody else is going live right now. I think I, I want to do it. Grab super glue and said, Oh, girl. Woo, don't do that. Don't be super gluing no lashes to your eyes. Like that. No, I don't think that would be a good choice. No, 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 no. Ugh. So I have to take some pictures and I have all these. Oh, damn. That's horrible. Oh, wow. and look, we talk about the quarterback position more than any other position on this network. And white Can you turn us down just a little bit for me? But you come in here. As a Thank you. That my quarterback needs to have is you got to be a leader. And I got to be a leader. Oh, boy. So, 
Woo. Yeah, it's good. My eyes won't stop watering, Joy. Oh, I hate when that happens. Sunshine and rain. You singing the joy again? Singing voice. You singing the joy again? Not singing to her. I'm just singing. He does do something better than Carson Wentz. I think he's a much better passer. That's great. Hmm. Let me see. Where are my questions? Okay. I'm getting irritated. I can't find the lipstick that I want. When was the World Wide Web first introduced? When was the internet first introduced? Internet first introduced? These are 90 questions. 90s questions or 90 questions? 90s. Um, like 1990. Ah, you 90. got it. I, really? You got it. John got it. 1991. Nice. Good job. Thank you. Well, that's when I was first, you know, I was still in California. My last five, because I started, I, I had it all figured out, man. I was on a multi billion dollar creative run. Everything Shut that was up. in print needed to go on to the internet. Yeah. And that was my money. That was how I was going to make my million. Okay. What Nickelodeon show kickstarted the career of Nick Cannon? Have a good day. Tammy. Oh, okay. Bye, Tammy. Say that again. Okay, I'll say it again. What Nickelodeon show kickstarted the career for Nick Cannon? Uh, Do you remember this show? Was it that uh, slime thing? No, it was called All That. Oh. It was a weird show. They would like get together and I don't know. What was the best selling rock album of the 1990s? The best selling rock album of the 1990s. Oh, I didn't think it was this one, but I, I'm kind of shocked. Queen. Uh, I don't know. Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill. That's not I know. That's what they consider, though. What are they talking about? Oh, what fab toy was feared to be a tool for foreign spies? Box cutter. Nope, I got one right up there. Uh, they thought that Furbies were like foreign spy toys, like that the other countries were trying to get our knowledge or something. Huh. Okay. That's interesting. Did they give that twenty dollars off to you? Uh, what song was unwillingly written about deodorant? What song, what his song was unwillingly written about deodorant? Huh. Yeah. I have no idea, actually. It smells like Teen Spirit. Oh. <laughs> that's actually, a, that's what I was actually going to guess for the best selling album, but then I thought, nah, Pro Jam 10 threw it out. Yeah, I don't know. Alanis Morissette. Alanis Morissette. Yeah. I can't even believe that. I can't believe that number one, they consider that rock. And then, yeah, I definitely wouldn't have went with rock. I didn't think she was rock. Yep, Teen Spirit. You got Laura. Smells like Teen Spirit. What TV show creator? Ah, oh, okay. What TV show's creator had the rule that its characters could learn lessons? Or hog to end episodes. I don't know. That's a weird question. Seinfeld. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't watch him. I thought that show was just weird. Oh, you never watched Seinfeld? Really? Some of this mm -hmm. stuff is funny. I like George, the character George. Oh, yeah? I like the weird guy. What's that shirt saying? Legalize free what? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if you can read it. I can't see no. the part. This, this is. I'll try. I can't remember 
what his name was. I watched it a couple of times, but I liked oh. the weird guy that would always come busting in that lived oh, next Kramer. Door. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's me. <laughs> That'd be me. <laughs> yeah. I, I like to be the weird friend, though. I won't lie. I don't know. I don't know, John. I get to pick a giveaway winner tonight. You do? I hope I win. Never know. Joy's giveaway. I've been lucky lately. I've, I've gotten some luck. I'm waiting for... I watched today, like, a bunch of mail's going to come for me. I hope. What? Can I you can enter Joy's giveaway. Yeah, you're subscribed to her channel. You got to make sure you watch her videos, though. You do on your phone, though. I do. Yeah. Have, have you watched? Your, have you been watching your watch hours? Check your hours. I've been watching you like nonstop. Have you? Yeah. Let me see. Hold on one second. You're still going. Yeah. Every time my computer's on, you're running. Oh, you're so sweet. You're welcome. I take turns with people. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I always have you up and Bethany and a few other people. I can do that. Why, why are you glaring at me, Batman? Batman He's still mad at me. What are you doing? Oh. And Bat. Leave him alone. You know what we should do on our next live? I just got this brilliant idea. Okay. What? I should find Harry Potter questions to ask you, and you should find the Walking Dead questions to ask me because oh. I am obsessed with the Walking Dead. I've watched every <laughs> season, every episode, five times at least. Okay. So I should be good with that one. You think, right. anyways? I should be good with Harry Potter, most of it. If I don't remember, it's because my brain is like, but it would come to my mind, though. You want to see? I, I just started making my potion bottles. Did you? Oh, God, look at that scar. So there's one of them. Cute. But this one, you see the glitter? Ooh, that's sparkly. Yeah. I'm starting to make them. So creative, honey, and talented. Thank you, Dara. Can you put like bones in that chicken bones and stuff like that? I want to put bones in the skeleton, skeleton girl one. I want to actually put like little chicken bones in it or something. Thank you. I love Harry Potter. I'm going to be selling them, I think, either individually or in sets. So I don't know. They're not done yet. When they're done, I'll you guys will see them, I promise. Oh, your hair looks so gorgeous. You look beautiful, Joy. David's going to love your look. He does. The only thing I don't like about doing a whole face and makeup is that I feel like it makes me look older. Even when I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't think you look older. I think, it does. I think it does, but it could just be me. But I am super happy that I found a foundation. I actually have two of them now. I forgot. I'm so happy for you. I have one. Well, my color pop. My second color pop is like a good match. I don't think it's as perfect as this one, but it's good. I hope that the color pop that I send you is good. I yeah, I'm sure it you because it's me. too white. It's too light for me, and you're lighter than me, so. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to get that box. I'm waiting to get my other set of taxes. Mm -hmm. so that way because I have some friend mail I'm going to send out I want to get um, I want to at least get what little bit of stuff I have for you sent out because the foundation it's been opened I don't know what the the life of it, life of it is so yeah I'm going to send your box out once my order comes in I want to get it to you so that way you can at least try it and see if you like it I thought about not doing like any collabs this month but I thought about a collab thank I'll you Lorna um, thank you, Lorna. Thank you so much. Um, a collab, I'll talk to you later about it, but it's like, it has to do with fairies and unicorns and shit. Cool. It'd be fun, but it's going to be like a tight group of friends. Right. That'd be cool. Cause I've had problems with the collabs. So. <laughs> 
Yeah. Right? But I figured this month I'll do friend mail. Like, you know, to a few people. Yeah, I have, um, I think I've got like five people that I'm going to send friend mail to. What was that? Say that again? I said I have like five people I'm going to send friend mail to. Yeah, I have a few people I'm going to send friend mail to. Yeah. I really would love to send Anne Marie some stuff, but I have to wait. That I have to add, like save money because it's like forty bucks a ship. I need to find out about. I'm gonna go to my bigger post office. I want to find out about that. Um, what is it? That one price bag that everybody keeps talking about. There's like a bag that's like a certain price to ship. All priority it's, mail or international? Like, I don't know. It's just, I've heard people talk about it on like videos. They're like, you know, I have this bag. It's like 34 or $43 that they can send it international. And if whatever they can fit in it, they can send. I mean, it's not a big bag, you know, but it'd be big enough to send somebody a few things like Anne Marie for 34 or 43 bucks, you know? Yeah. It's, like is, a, it's um, a bag, right. Yeah, it's just a bag. I don't, I've heard people talk about it. So yeah. I, I got to go. My, I talked to my small post office and they're like, what? But um, somebody in Michigan said they got one in their post office. So it's got to be a thing. So my big post office should know about it. Yeah, they, they probably will. I have stamps and everything, but I need to. Yeah, Beth, like, I'm going to tell you honestly. I am overwhelmed with the amount of people we have going on in this club because I normally like to um, announce everybody and put their pictures up, but yeah. I can't do that this time. There's just way too many people. There's a lot of stress and I almost quit. Honestly, I mean, I was like this, this, I can't do this, but then I just decided I'm just going to say there's a million people. And if you want to know, there's a, um, playlist but whoever does the playlist they need to make sure because i've been in a couple of clubs where people have done playlists and the shit don't even work so yeah it costs zach 11 dollars to send me a bracelet too so i know but there's supposed to be an international bag that's like i want to say it's 43 dollars. yeah something like that i think i told you about it because they you did you did tell me about it post office she showed it to me yeah it looked it i wish i had one of the bags in front of me hold on i'll go grab one hi joy Hi, John. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Hold on one second. Okay. <laughs> no, sit your fucking ass back down right now. Okay, hold on. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. You can share the star of the show. You can um, start with me. Start I'll share. I'll share. Sit with me. I'm too fat. To sit sit down. And, uh, you got. I'm way too fat. So, uh, ever. We normally sit in a chair together. Yeah. We can fit in a chair together. Mm, loves. I love you. You're so funny. Yeah, John, yeah. are you dusting your hair? Yeah. <laughs> I am. It's got white all over it. <laughs> he does have. He he got white. I'm he blames I'm me. Grand. He blames yes, me for ever all since that. The past uh, past uh, <laughs> all of you raising this punk. Oh, it's been, I thought it was like thirteen or fourteen. Thirteen years. Two thousand eight. How many years is that? Yeah. 12, 14. 13. 13. 2022. Oh, 13. I'm sorry. Your head. Your head. Joy. Uh, sunshine. And rain. <laughs> I can't sing it, but I can play it on the drums. 
Uh, good, but mostly evil. <laughs> <laughs> Good, but mostly evil. Don't let my name fool you. My mom gave me the wrong name, but it works great because everybody thinks I'm an angel. <laughs> all right, all right. Nobody thinks I'm an angel. Yeah, can anybody, how could anybody not be an angel with the name Joy? All right, I'm definitely not an angel. <laughs> I. It took me many years to quit being mean to people on purpose, John. Oh yeah. Okay, here, get your head on there. No, no, I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. So, I don't do that now. Now I just be mean to people that are mean to me. Yeah. I used to just be mean just for the hell of it. I don't you know why. I'm to trying to figure mean. it out in counseling. But, you know mean why? Because mean people suck. Mean, mean people, people suck. suck? Yeah. I was a mean person, though. Like, seriously, I... <sighs> To be completely 100% honest with you, when I'm mean to somebody, I get excited. I get thrilled. Yeah, you love it, huh? <laughs> I do. I do. And that's really bad. Like I, and I, so I am working on it in counseling to figure out why. Like, why do enjoy? I enjoy that? Like, yeah. why? Like, you know, normal people don't enjoy being mean to other people. I love mm -hmm. it. But I, but I've learned, you know, I'm older, I've matured, I've learned I can't be mean to everybody. So now no. I just be mean to those that deserve it. Right. If you mean to mean people. Yeah. Cool. Good so for you. All right. You fuck me over. I'm going to ruin your life. Like, all right, everybody. I'm going to go lay back down or sit back down. Bye. He respond to that. He was like, okay. <laughs> no, he said he agrees with you. Why, Lorna? Because of karma. Honestly, because I believe in karma and I believe that. What you get, what you put out comes back 10 times fold. So if you put out bad, you get it back 10 times worse. And if you put out good, you get it back 10 times, you know, better. But for years, I, even though I have always believed in karma, I just didn't care. I didn't care if I had karma or not. But then I went through probably like a five year span where I don't even know how I made it through that five years. And I know it was just karma just hitting me right after another, like, bam, 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 bitch, can you handle all this? And that, that's when I decided like, I need to, I need to start being nice because I need some, you know how like they say the Egyptians, like they measure your heart by good and bad. I really feel like if I, if that was the truth and I was to die today, that my heart has more evil in it than it does good. You got down, Riri? I'm sorry. And so, you know, you're Smart who have some limitations, but they were so patient and you know. Uh, oh, there's Riri. Hi, Riri. Look at her looking up. Riri. She's like, I hear my name. Hi, All right, I'll put you down. Batman, why'd you come when I said Riri? <laughs> huh? Yeah, Batman. Hi, but here. <laughs> That's Riri. <Ruby. laughs> Going off with bad sauce. Cobster. Cooking with kind of artists. Hi, Batman. Batman. Kitty, kitty, kitty. God, aren't your arms wearing out, honey? <laughs> no. He's a good boy. Come here. Come here, Clutch. He's no, his mom. mom. <laughs> no, You're mom. Well, everybody to see you too. I'm just gonna save you. Uh, mom. And here's my Mr. Blue. Oh, Blue. You want to see Blue Batman? Look at Blue. Look at Blue. All right. No, okay. He's just like, okay, whatever. Oh, hi, Blue. Hi, Blue. Oh, he's looking right at me. <laughs> Look, I love his eyes. I love his eyes. <sighs> and then uh, we have Rocky and Doobie too, but well, they're not my dogs yet, so I ain't gonna show them to you guys. <laughs> they're not my dogs yet. I mean, I, they're 90% my dogs. I keep telling my boys that. Yeah, because you're taking care of them, right? Yeah. All right. Come here. All right. Rocky's jealous. 
<sighs> Rocky. Hi, Mama. Rocky. Oh, he's Rocky so and Riri look a lot alike. Yes, they do. Hi, Rocky. Oh, he's looking right. Oh, you love Mama. Hi, Rocky. Yeah, I'm all their mamas because I'm the one that took care of them when they were babies. Mm -hmm. right. You could be in Jones now. I loved on you too. Gibby must be out there sleeping. Or he'd be over here all on up too. No, but I'm the one that takes him to the bathroom most of the time. I feed and water him every day. <laughs> I do everything with them. I give them their snacks. I know you do. So, I just gave them baths yesterday. They hate baths. They all hated it. The first couple of baths were fine, but their third, they didn't like the third bath. They're like, nope. And then I had to give Miss May a bath because she rolled around or she went under a, tr a truck and got oil all over. Mm -hmm. So I had to give her a bath yesterday too. And that was a chore because she, I've never given her a bath before. Yeah. She did not like it. She was worse than the puppies, but well, she needed a bath. Hey, it happens. If they get dirty and all that, you have to, you know, mm -hmm. clean them. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully. Like, that's why I bathe my puppies. Like, I try to bathe them every few weeks when they're little and get them used to the water because I don't like dogs that fight me. Yeah. When they get older and I have to take them. So, yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> Super, hey. No. Hey. Everybody Come here, Doobie. Doobie, Doobie, Doobie. Come here, buddy. You want to? Oh, I'm going to do This is our biggest dog. Come here. Come here, Doobie. Come here, fat boy. Give me a second, Batman. Oh, he's a big boy. He is. He's the biggest of all of them. Hi, Doobie. Doobie. Oh my God! Look at his ears. He looks like a Harry Potter dog. I want him. He's he definitely Harry Potter dog. I want that one. You should see his paws. He's got the mastiff, definitely. He's, He's a mastiff. He looks like the Harry Potter dog. I'll show you a picture. Oh yeah, he resembles them. Doobie's so laid back though. That's why we named him Doobie. It was either Doobie or Eeyore. Yeah. He's cool. I love his ears. They're like, boop. Yeah, like, we chose Doobie because we're potheads. It's made sense. Yeah, right. It made sense. <laughs> Don't he look like a doobie? <laughs> he does look like a doobie. I know he does. <laughs> I can buy a doobie. I need one. And do you guys, like, if somebody says that's a junkyard dog, do you understand what that means? I think I do. Where they're like noisy and bark all the time and getting into all kinds of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Rocky is our junkyard dog. He's annoying as hell. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. He barks hard. all the time. He takes my shoes. He's got blue taking my shoes. I had to get whooping sticks because I won't correct them with my hands because I don't want to be afraid of my hands. But I did take a couple of magazines that came in and I rolled them up and I taped them. And that's the, my whooping sticks. So I have a couple of whooping sticks throughout my house. So that way, if, you know, depending on where I'm at, they do something wrong, I can whoop them. And they know what that whooping stick is. If they I pick it up, yes, they know that they're bad if I pick up that. Well, whichever one, they know. Even yeah. Riri. Even Riri has gotten the whooping stick a couple times. Ooh, Riri has. She's been that bad. Yeah, when she keeps trying to eat something she's not supposed to. Yeah. No. Right. No. So, you don't want her sick. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. So, I've had to give her the open stick a couple times, and they learn like most animals. I don't know. Most animals I have are always so smart, but I think it's because yeah. I take the time with them. I think so, too. I think you, ever since they've been born, you've been right by their side. Like, you do the whole like mother thing. It's kind of like you're their mother because she well, abandoned them. She did. She and, did. like, left, left ship. <laughs> she's she's the first dog that I've ever had that has done that. You know, like for instance, catnip has five kittens and I don't have to like I once a week go check on them. They're I think almost three weeks old now. But anyways, I just go check on them. She has them under my son Dorian's bed and um she feels comfortable in there. She runs all the other animals out though. She don't want 
any of the dogs or even her other cats because we have three other cats that was her first litter we cup them all and um we're not keeping all these ones That'd we're gonna get rid of them hopefully but um anyhow like she's a really good mom she takes care of her animals so i ain't gotta worry about her you know but yeah Misty May was my first dog that went like, fuck you. I'm done being a mom. I'm not feeding them no more. So I took over and that was really hard. And I hope that I never have to do that again because you know how hard it was to sell those dogs? I, I wanted every one of them. I was literally attacked attack ever. every one of those dogs because I had to bottle feed them for like a week. Some I had to bottle feed longer than I was the one that was getting up even in the middle of the night, two times in the middle of the night to feed them because puppies eat, you know, all the oh, time. Or whatever. Yeah. So I was like, it was like having 12 newborn babies. I swear. It was, I could only imagine. I've never done that, but I've done it with kittens and rabbits. I, I raised a little rabbit that was little tiny rabbit and I would bottle feed it and everything. And I, I got it all healthy and it was about this, about that big. He was really cute, floppy or rabbit. I wanted to keep it, but my mom wouldn't let me. Oh, uh, do you want to see what John did last night? Nice. Don't show Dave. He'll want one. Huh? <laughs> Don't show Dave. He'll want one. Yeah. They're twenty nine bucks. They're on Amazon. They're really good. It pulls it out, and you can move it any direction you want. <laughs> Yeah, so now John has to watch Harry Potter, and he gets to watch Teen Mom. Yay! Yay! I hate Teen Mom. I like Harry I Potter. I love it. I'm terrible. You and my daughter would get along great. I liked it a little bit. I watched it a little bit with Ivy. Yeah. But it just yeah. got to the point where I feel like they should have moved on to character to different characters instead of talking about the same ones for mm -hmm. so fucking long. Like, because once to the extent they're no longer a teen mom. Like, right. It's interesting because I've been watching them since they were 16, and now they're like in their adulthood, starting their adulthoods, and having more children, and this and that. But I get what you're saying because they really don't have the show 16 and Pregnant anymore. I don't know if they do. I was trying to get my sister on the show. She got pregnant at 16. I'm like, get on the show, girl. No. Yeah, they didn't have that show when I got pregnant at 16. No. Batman. But, yeah, definitely. Are you keeping Doobie? Yeah. Okay, you're keeping Doobie. Awesome. We're Doobie keeping all of them. Like, their dog. Um, Doobie is Virgil's, my son Virgil's, and then Rocky is my son Dorian's. But right now, Doobie, well, okay, so Virgil is actually doing better with Doobie than what Dorian is with Rocky. Doobie kind of knows Virgil's his owner. But Rocky has no clue that Dorian's his own. Rocky sleeps in my bed. Well, not my bed, but I have a bed for them on the floor. Mm -hmm. Rocky sleeps in my room at night with all the other dogs. Virgil will take his dog until he wakes up whining, and then he'll let him back out. And then I end up with them halfway through the night. But um, I'm the one that, you know, I just do most with it. And the other kids, they just don't do as much with them. Like, even when they're home, I'm still taking them potty unless I'm yelling at them and saying, hey, one of you guys need to take these damn dogs to the bathroom because I've done it all day, you know? Oh, yeah. It kind of depends on what mood I'm in. I'll either do it myself or yell at them, but I do 90% of everything with those dogs. Yeah, I know you have. But what I do, like, I feel bad because I let Riri and Blue on my bed. I don't let um, Doobie or Rocky on my bed because they're not my dogs. And so, like, they'll be sitting in their little bed on the floor. I'll have my dogs up on the bed. I'm loving them. I'm playing with them. And then I'll look over, and the other dogs look so sad. And I'm like, but you're not my dogs. I can't, you know, if I start I'm doing this. I'm trying to catch from you a little bit. It's, it's, right, you know? Yeah. And, I'm trying to get the boys to do more with their dogs. Like, but I did tell them, you know, from the beginning, like if you're when you guys get dog, ready to move, yeah. depending on how, depending on what the dogs think, like if they get it to where the dogs realize that they're their owners, then when they move, they can take that dog with them. But if the dog thinks it's mine, when they right. get ready to move, they're not taking it with them. 
That's why they got their dogs for free. We didn't make them pay for them because of that right there. So when they get ready to move out, like to Dorian and Virgil are both in 11th grade, so they'll graduate next year. Right. So if they decide to move out, depending on how the dogs are, they're either going to stay with me or they're going to go with them. Right. Like, we were talking about I kind of hope they go with them because I didn't ever want four dogs. Right. Right. You know, I hope, uh, I hope they man up and take their dogs. You know, they're young still. They're teenagers. I told them it was going to be hard. I try to be patient with them. Some days I'm more irritated than others because like I'm get overtired. I haven't been taking naps and, yeah, and I don't get my naps. I end up being a bitch come eight o'clock at night. Like I'm just oh, I hear ya. I take naps sometimes during the day too, if I can. If I can lay right. down and actually rest, I, I'm my body will tell me when to rest, so I let it rest. You right. Know? There's I times it. I have to take a nap no matter what. Um, but like I've been trying not to. Yeah. And then I can go like three days without taking a nap and then I have to because if not, then I'm gonna sleep through the whole night. I'm not gonna get up, I'm not gonna check the wood, I ain't gonna do any of right. it. And so but that's all that is. It is what it is, right? Right. So yeah. Let's open some sunlight to be there and teach the youth of America. There. Some light I curtain. Do you have sunlight in your room real good? Yeah, you do. You have some nice open windows right there. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. When we uh, get sun, I it's pretty decent in here, but so I picked this flooring. It's like a brownish yellow color. Uh -huh. And um, it makes me orange. It's really weird. It makes you orange? Yeah. So that's why I have to like in the summertime, I can't, um, I can't record with my natural light because of my flooring. Because it like, about how did my son say it? He said that the sun comes in, hits the floor, bounces off the white ceilings and changes me colors. Right, right. I get what you mean. So, and that's because I picked the cheapest flooring that they had. Because I like, we'll do it again another time when you know the kids are gone and the animals ain't puppies, and you know we'll get a more expensive flooring. But for now, we just picked the cheapest one, and I didn't know that. So if I record when the sun's out, I have to have my windows closed because if not, it turns me orange. Oh wow! I understand though, like how it would reflect and all that. That's interesting. Yeah, I have one son that's hey super guys, smart. Hey, guys. There's people in here. No one's talking, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no one's talking today. They must just, like, listen to us be crazy. <laughs> More crazy ass. <laughs> right? All right. So what do you, what are you got plans today? Going shopping or anything? Just staying home? No, I don't. I think um, later I have to go do some grocery shopping when Dave gets home. But that's he's um, like an hour away doing a floor that's going to take like the whole day. So he probably get home till like seven o'clock, six, mm. seven o'clock tonight. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. But we'll go shopping then. And um, I may have a package that's coming in today from Bethany. Bethany sent me a package too. Yeah. I think today, like all my packages are going to show up and it's going to be a pile. And it might be. Dad's always like, What the fuck did you buy? <laughs> Some of it I'm not buying. That Forever Shine Box, from now on, I'm going to be doing her PR for her. So it's oh, really that's cool. nice. Yeah. I it just found out not too long ago. Oh, well, I got some BB crap. What are you doing? So I'll be careful. I had to go to the gym today. Okay, go to the gym though. Too snowy to ride my bike. I know. Yeah, we got like six inches of snow last night. Did you? We got some snow too. You should see the mountain out front of the house. It's ridiculous. The plow trucks. It's like <laughs> my bike is going to get rusted. I swear to God. My mountain's That's horrible. It needs to be put inside. I hate, inside. Snow. I hate it. Sponsored by Mercedes Benz. Hate it, hate it, but I live where there's snow. <laughs> so, one day, one day I will not. What do you think about Jeffree Star's new launch? Have you seen that yet? Either have I. Nope. I haven't watched it yet. 
I don't know. I want to get a couple more of his lipsticks. I did like his liquid lips. They're just one of them's not my color. I just don't what, like the it, unicorn blood. No, not the unicorn blood. The, the blood. silver one. Oh, the silver one. I did not like the silver one because it's or not silver. It's gold. It's straight up gold. Like I, like I did not don't like the gold. I did not like. I don't really like gold. If it was silver, I, I, I'd probably be all over. I'm silver too, but I would do the gold and do like an Egyptian look. No, I didn't like it, but um, but I do want to try. I still haven't tried the glosses yet. I need to try but, the glosses. Um, but I do. I wouldn't mind getting some more of his lipsticks because I like they do matte down. They last for a long time. Yeah, they don't they make do. my lips look all but holy, and you know. Yeah. So I do like that. So I do like his lipstick, and I like his eyeshadow palette. Um, I do want to try another one of his because I was actually researching. Uh-huh. I like, and this is my skin color. I think that's why it's not working right. So, um, cause I don't know much about highlight, right? Highlights. So I was just reading it about the, and I found this one article that said that if, uh, if you use a highlight, if it's your skin color, that it may not show like as right. good as it's supposed to. And that's my skin color. That is. So of course it's not. Yeah. It's not so show. when I put it on, I can't tell that it's there and i barely see shiny at all so that kind of sucks but yeah that sucks i so i wouldn't mind trying a different one of his highlights but yeah. that's i said i watched it it's okay mini has one new shade in it you've only tried his eyeshadows bath his lippies are great um I have not tried his lip scrub yet. I'm going to try that out today. I'm going to film it and try that out. And see if Doesn't he have foundation and concealer too? He has concealer. He does not have foundation. Yeah. Oh, okay. His concealer though, I would buy. Um, because yeah, I, I heard good about the concealer, but I just figured he just had con um, foundation to go with it. But Come here. I, don't, I don't know. I might get one more mystery box of his. Uh, I'm thinking about it. I really am. Just I'm you know, about getting the one you got. I've been thinking about getting another one of those myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about getting the one you got, ma'am. I think about. I think about copying you. Yeah, I don't know. Fine. I think I'm gonna get that, or I'm gonna get another Bitsy Beauty box. I don't know. I want to get another Bitsy Beauty box too, but I want to talk to her about it when I get the rest of my taxes in because I want to try more high-end products. So I want to see yeah, yeah. like about how much I'm going to need for it. And it didn't got to be as big of a box as last time, but I would like a decent box, about, you know? Right. So I got to find out. But I would like to try some more higher-end products. So. Yeah. Oh. Bougie, bougie. I, I mean, we're gonna be bougie well. bitches. That's what we'll call ourselves, the bougie bitches of YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, have platform. you ever watched the two broke girls? Yes. With Max, I call them the two broke bitches. Yeah. So whenever I talk about them, I'm like, I'm gonna go watch the two broke bitches. <laughs> 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 right? I love Max and Caroline. They're awesome. Yep. I think they don't do it no more, though. I think they finished up not too long ago. Mm. I think. I'm not positive. Not 100% on that. But I don't think they have, like, new seasons or anything anymore. Yeah. I need to catch up on um, <coughs> Handmaid's Tales. I love that show. Me I, too. I only got to season two, but I think there's like four or five seasons now. Yeah, I only watched the first two seasons, and I was like, man, I would be fucking killed. I'd be one of them that they hung. I I know I would be. I uh, mean, probably too. Because uh, I would no be way. so good to them. I would be like a, sh like, no, they would make me have a surgery to have babies. I mean, there's always a million, million, million chance. Hello, Amory. You teach what novel? I teach that. The Handmaid's Tale. That is, is it a good book? I want to read it. Wow, she teaches that novel. That's a crazy novel to be taught. 
That's horror. I couldn't imagine. But, you know, I could see the world becoming like that. Me too. Really Me too. Completely. Right now, the way the shit's going, I could see it happening. Mm -hmm. Me too. Move over, Canada. I'm coming. No. <laughs> Watch out, Prince Edward Island. The twins are coming. Bougie bitches. I'm doing good, Anne-Marie. How are you? Oh, I know. Tommy Lee has an album. He has a he has records. I really need to go back to the eye doctor. I need to get some corrective lenses again. My is your eye? Crazy eye. On you? Oh, Mine bugs me. Me if I look the wrong way. If I like look up the wrong way, it will start sometimes. <laughs> no, I've been noticing a lot in my videos and pictures and stuff, but of course I'm going to see it quicker than anybody else does. I've had it my whole life, but right. like it's starting to get lazier and lazier and uh, I, don't know. I have to wear a corrective lens. I used to have a corrective lens then I got, and then, but see, this is what I do. I wear a corrective lens and then, well, I wear a cor cor bleh, corrective glasses. One lens has the corrective medicine. The other one's just plain plain glass because I don't need anything for it but and then I wear it until I feel like my eyes good then I stop wearing them and then I lose my glasses or something they break or whatever and then after a couple of years then it starts getting lazy again and then I need a corrective lens but every time I go to the eye doctor they're like you have to wear it every day all the time they want you to wear it. I'm supposed to wear my glasses all the time too but I can't because filming it doesn't work too well Oh, that's so great! The the relaxation of lockdown. I'm. I'm oh, that's yeah. awesome. You missed Riri. Where's she? Oh, she's in the other room. <laughs> I'd go grab her, but she's in the other room. Aww. I'm so happy you guys are coming out. 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 i yeah, they're talking about impeaching Cuomo. That'd be nice. Yeah, because he killed all those people, basically putting them in nursing homes with the COVID. Oh, yeah. Oh, I remember what it was now. So I seen this um, on Facebook. It was um, Donald Trump, and he was, like, sitting in his, like, desk from the White House or something. And he goes, yeah. I don't always get impeached, but when I do, I get, um, oh, fuck, what's that word? Acquitted. Is that the word I was thinking of? Uh, uh, acquitted? Yeah. Acquit is it acquitted? Yeah. Yeah, because he got acquitted twice. <laughs> <laughs> they tried impeaching him twice. Twice. They did. They did. They tried impeaching him within his first year, remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember all that crazy nonsense. <laughs> I want to know when we're getting our money, Biden. Oh, Ew, that's steal. Mm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what did you say? She said she gets to go back to school on March 8th. I said, ooh, the school. <laughs> I'd want to stay away from them little snot-nosed brats giving me diseases and stuff. No. <laughs> uh, horrible, I know. Oh, you're not horrible. It's just funny. Oh man, we gotta start thinking about making merchandise and all that, girl. I get bigger. My son's always on me about that shit too. Yeah, mom, you gotta do this, mom. You gotta do that. Mom, mom, so mom. our stimulus is coming in March. It'd be nice. That's awesome. I'm setting it. I don't know. I never. I never count on it. Until I get it. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it, kind of thing. You know, I mean, right. This is how I am. I'm realistic. But I'll tell you, whenever they give it, I, I'm one of the first people to get it. I think they go by your last name or your social. I don't know if they go by your last name or. I don't know. I don't know either. The last I heard it, it was supposed to be like fourteen hundred a person. So I'll get twenty eight hundred because it's just me and my son. If that's the truth, you know what I mean. 
Right, if that's the truth. And then, a second, I don't want to do math right now. And Dave will get 5,600. Because he's got three kids in himself. That's so four. Um, hmm. I hope we get it. Because that's wow. a new well. Hi, Christina. Hi, they're very snobby. You can't talk to me about I'm a Seattleite, so don't talk to me about coffee. I mock Dunkin' Milk. Oh, you get it faster if you did uh, filed your taxes and have direct deposit, I guess. Yeah, I don't have direct deposit. I have mine put on a card. Like, uh, <laughs> it's a, uh, American Express card from Jack's Hewitt. So they usually mail me my check in the mail because of that. I don't know why they can't just put it on that card. I've been going through Jackson Hewitt for years and I use the same card. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I get mine in the mail. Okay. That's still good. Oh my God. I just found something that I want to get you. Oh yeah. They're what so cute. They're earrings. They're SpongeBob earrings. Love SpongeBob. I know you do. Oh my God! They are so you. Look at them. Second. Oh, they are. <laughs> That's so. Oh my funny. God! Let me. Uh, they are so cute. Seven seventy four to ship. That's expensive. How much? Seven seventy four to ship, but I might get them for you. We'll see. Don't do it. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it for myself. Unless you're gonna buy like a whole bunch of stuff and then you get your shipping for free. Right. So I don't I, I do not pay for shipping. Yeah, maybe. Except for I did pay for like it comes like if it comes in the total, I guess, but like Thank if you. it's extra, I normally don't order from them. They are quite huge, aren't they? Lakers from shooting slump right now. Of Davis yeah, shipping's a deal breaker for me. I will pay, like, I did pay $15 in shipping for my Beauty Bay, but I really wanted my Jeffree Star. Mm -hmm. so, I was like, whatever. But normally, if I have, if I order um, a bunch of products and then they still want me to pay for shipping, I'm like, fuck this. I'll go to somewhere where I can spend $35 and get the shipping for free. <laughs> right? Confidence. <laughs> They maybe get a break or two in the seating or the playoffs. And you look up at George Mason. Yeah, there are some places that you have to pay shipping for. But I most likely, like, if I get, like, I can't remember what website it was. But I got on a website and I was going to order, I think it was, like, $80 worth of product. And they wanted me to pay, like, um, $19 for shipping. And I was like, what? Like, fuck you. I go to Elf. And I did. I went to Elf and got, you know, like, $40 worth of product. And it was like that more than what I ordered from the other website and got free shipping. Right. Um, it is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Yeah. I don't understand why it costs so much. They send fucking ships that way anyways, like, or planes. Like if you think about it. Because usually, like, mail gets sent with, like, um, not all the time, but sometimes mail gets sent with, like, big planes to go certain places. I've seen them. I've seen them load up mail on big planes before. So, like, if everybody's already paying for their fucking flight, the gas is covered, or the fuel. Mm -hmm. So, it shouldn't cost you an arm and a leg, but they do. Right. That sucks. All right, girlfriend. It's been two hours, and I oh, has it? Oh wow. Yeah, I've been holding okay. it for like a minute, so okay. I'm gonna let everybody go. Okay, guys. It was nice visiting with you. Bye, right. guys. As always. Mwah. Love you. Love you too. All right. All right, guys. So I guess I'm gonna get off of here too. Um, we've been on here for quite some time today. 
So I hope everyone has a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys all later. Unless you guys want to stay here and talk. All right, guys. I love you, and I'll see you later. Bye.